All right. So this is how again uh, the option or another way to install the WordPress into Infinity Three. So by the use of the another another uh, hosting account. So let us use the uh, Tony Twenty Twenty Two Sample Page Two. So I will not use the uh, WordPress. Okay, uh, where we can. Uh, import the files but instead we will use the infinity free uh, the software of the control panel so let us click this one then let us proceed to the control panel okay before we proceed i will uh, show you the uh, tony 22 sample page to infinity free.com so what we can see right now is the empty uh, web page and I will also show you that our file manager for the hosting another hosting which is a uh, number two is no um, installed or imported files of the WordPress okay again uh, I will show you uh, uh, the database okay Alright, so control panel, then uh, databases. So there is no current database. As you can see, uh, there is no listed uh, database in this hosting account. Now, let us proceed to the uh, installation of the uh, WordPress by the use of this uh, available software in our control panel. So we have uh, Softaculous Apps Installer okay, available in our uh, control panel. So let us wait until uh, the page will be loaded Alright, now we have here the list of the softwares. Okay, so first of it is the WordPress. Alright, so it tells, us the, it tells us that WordPress is a state of the art publishing platform, platform with a focus on aesthetics, web standards, and usability. Also, WordPress is a, uh, a CMS tool or content management tool so let's install this one then uh, let us scan below are the list of the template where we can use for now we won't uh, select any of these Okay, let us install the WordPress by its default uh, web page. Okay. For the installation, uh, for the software setup, so for the choose of installation URL, so we can use the uh, HTTP or HTTPS. Okay. So in my case, uh, we'll be using HTTP. Uh, then with the uh, www okay twin uh, tony twenty twenty two sample page two next one is the version of the wordpress so the highest version is six point zero the next one is the site settings site name uh, my blog All right okay lang then admin username okay for the username again I will create another one okay 
So I will advise you that every time you configure some of those details, so you need to uh, save all those uh, credentials. Right, so username, admin username, Tony WordPress 2, admin password, so I will configure that one. Alright, next is, alright, what else? Site name, maybe um, we can use as Tony Sample Page 2. Okay, so everything is filled up. Enable multiple okay, WordPress. Uh, let's see this one. So enable uh, multi-site. This uh, feature will enable multi-site option for your WordPress blog. The server must support Apache mode. Alright, so we want to be able to check this one. Uh, choose language, English. The international language. Select plugin. Leave it plugin attempts. Uh, right. For template. Okay, everything is filled up. So let's see the preview overview. Alright. Features. So, for your information, you can read this one or scan all of these uh, data so that uh, uh, it will uh, uh, help you to. Customize your web page. Import. We have remote server, FTP. Okay, so uh, let's go back. Oops. So let us build up again. Tony WordPress 2 and to the password next is uh, right so that's uh, that's all then uh, quick install custom install This one. Alright, so let's see or I click this uh, install button. Sorry for that. Okay, checking the submit. Uh, Alright, note this may take three to four minutes. Please uh, do not leave this page until the progress bar reaches 100%. So now, congratulations, the super was installed successfully. Now, let us check our uh, page link. This is now our page link. Alright, so as you can see, in the address bar, we have successfully accessed our WordPress link, the Tony2022 sample page dot infinity three dot com okay now for the administrative URL or the WordPress admin dashboard where you can customize your page is this one okay uh, for this one uh, just uh, remove after the forward slash then put WP dash admin okay and then enter 
Okay. So, the login page will appear. Now, your save uh, credential, you need to copy or uh, type. Then, the password. Right. Then, login. Okay. Now, we have successfully access the administrative dashboard or admin dashboard of the WordPress. So, again, uh, we can visit our site by this uh, visit site. Okay. So, again, alright. So, sample page. Okay. If you, if you want to configure this uh, page, we can use this uh, dashboard. Next one is our account we can log out okay we can edit now i would like to show you in the infinity free control panel the file manager okay it is automatically uh, imported our Uh, WordPress installed files okay so by the use of the infinity tree okay so this one as you can see we have 68 okay 68 but uh, the page 2 okay again uh, let us verify accounts then our Hosting account, file manager, and the WordPress automatically installed files. Okay, then for the control panel, let us check the database. Database, my SQL database. Then let's see. So we have now the automatically created database okay so you need to save all these credentials db okay db name then you are going to use these uh, credentials later uh, for further for further um, configuration so this is the host and for the password okay we have mysql database and then this one copy all right so Every time you created an account, so do not, uh, don't forget to save all those details, right? So uh, that's all for now. And oh, so let's check again the file manager and uh, the config sample. Alright, so this is how, how, you, how you're going to configure the files of the uh, file manager. So just access the file manager, uh, the file manager, and uh, online file manager. Then if you want to customize the uh, programming, of this uh, WordPress, you can right click and edit. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you so much, and hope to see you again. God bless.